Tecmo are probably best known for the sports games and Ninja Gaiden before Dead or Alive took off. So that just shows what a powerful brand this original Sega Model 2 hardware running arcade title became. Coming long after Virtual Fighter and Tekken, but arguably just as popular as either franchise, Dead or Alive has managed to do what many 3D fighters fail to do, become as popular as the big boys. The series was the brainchild of Tomonobu Itagaki, who let's face it, likes his ladies. Hey, which man doesn't? The arcade game runs at a resolution of 496 by 384 progressive scan at 60 frames a second. Why am I telling you this? Well, because the home console ports all ran at a higher resolution. Very surprising. Saturn version of Dead or Alive is considered to be the best version by the creator of the series, Tomonobu Itagaki. It runs at the amazing resolution of 704 by 224 progressive scan at 60 frames per second. No other console at the time could come close to this resolution. In fact, even the Dreamcast couldn't, since that was limited to 480p. Besides looking great running in the Saturn's high resolution mode, this version of Dead or Alive introduced many extra costumes for each character, plus enhanced audio over the arcade game. Sadly, the 3D backgrounds have been replaced with cleverly drawn 2D ones, such as many of Sega's own 3D fighters ported to the Saturn. The results are very good to be honest. The most important aspect of the gameplay, being the ring, is still present in true 3D, along with the danger zones.
瞬間が最高ね Tomonobu thought so highly of the Saturn port that he included it on the Dead or Alive Ultimate over the actual arcade port. The reason being that the Saturn version had much tighter gameplay and looked better. Not too sure about that, but the creator himself seems to think so. Anyway, some may think that the Xbox port is just an emulation of the Saturn game, but it's not. For the start, the opening video is cleaner and there are a few polygon glitches found in the Saturn game that are not present in the Xbox version. The danger zone explosions also look more square on the Xbox over the Saturn. It's best to think of this as the Saturn HD remastered version running in 720p at 60 frames per second. Black Sheep of Dead or Alive ports and one that was, for some reason, 
considered the best back in the day. I have no idea why though. There are improvements over the original game with the introduction of some cool lighting effects and even more bonus costumes per character, plus Bass and Iron Head from Dead or Alive 2 are introduced. These are indeed welcome additions, however, the gameplay has slightly changed due to the flat and never ending arenas used in this version. The music and stage design are also truly awful compared to the original game. And let's not pretend to have not noticed the crazy breast physics used in this version. Way over the top. It makes me wonder why Tecmo decided to completely rearrange the game for the PlayStation. Still, this is a good solid fighter that runs at 60 frames per second in a resolution of 640 by 480 progressive. Or as we say these days, 480p. The PlayStation version was also ported to the arcade as Dead or Alive++. It's basically the same game, however, with a few gameplay tweaks. And let's take a look at those four versions of Dead or Alive running side by side. <laughs> 